Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today um, I'm going to show you one of our newest arrival uh, when it comes to press and grommet machine. Uh, this is a GS-18001 um, and the manufacturer number is MKJ-601 uh, made and built for uh, new tech. Uh, this is a uh, servo motor uh, press machine uh, that could be used either for rivets, eyeless grommets, and all sort of stuff. So this is this actual item is uh, set up to go out today, and we're making this uh, video for the customer and for the public to see. Uh, again, it's pneumatic. It's a um, uh, servo motor. It's electrical, and if you see right here, this is a uh, the machine is 220 volt. It has to be powerful to go through stuff that I'm gonna show you it's gonna go through. But if you don't have 220, this machine comes for free with a power transformer that makes the 110 to 220. So if you have 220 volt in your factory or your uh, warehouse, you could directly plug into a, a wall if you have 220. If not, it's okay. It comes with one of these transformers. The reason for this transformer is again is because this machine is very powerful. It needs a 220 volt uh, power. Uh, servo, no sound, no motor, no running motor, quiet as you see, and uh, very easy. Uh, there is a uh, bunch of stuff here, A, B, C, D, that has to do with light. This, this machine comes with uh, LED lamp and with a, um, uh, with a pointer that you could see a, where you're going with. Obviously, we're doing a very big um, grommet today, which is number four, half an inch. And um, this die is um, large, so the pointer is not showing, but you could adjust. The pointer will show exactly where you're going. It's not, I don't know if you could see, I'm gonna use a black fabric to see if you see that red dot is right in there. It's not very, uh, uh, you can't really see it, but it's right there. Uh, but you could adjust the bracket right here for the lamp uh, and LED lamp and for the pointer. Uh, the machine comes with uh, tools to open up the upper die and lower die and change. Again, this machine, like any other press machine that we have, you could do many things with it. You just need a dedicated uh, die for it. So today we're going to be doing number four. The machine comes assembled when you receive it, as you see. Uh, if it's international shipment, we'd rather not ship it um, assembled, we'll go unassembled, but this is the way it will be. Okay, so the customer is doing a cotton um, bag, and um, they told me they do two layers, and I this is a uh, polyester fabric, but I'm gonna do four layers, uh, and we'll show you how it's gonna work. So it's self-piercing, meaning that the garment would hold the grommet on the top and the washer goes on the bottom and one of the most important thing when it comes to a press machine you have to be very careful with your hand so as you see here we have a uh, bracket right here that when i'm gonna go start using the machine it's gonna swing to the right hand side to prevent if your hand is here it's gonna make sure your hand is out of the way. This is one of the most important part of this uh, press machine, that you do not press your hand. So if I go here, and again, I have four layers here, I have the grommet on top, washer on the bottom. If I go and put this right here, uh, there is a pedal right here, which pulls down uh, the, uh, the uh, press machine from inside. So I'm gonna go and let's do a close up here. I just want you to see how this swing works, that your hand goes out of the way. And 
if you see, I'm going to go down slowly. That will prevent, that bracket will prevent your hand from being on the way. I'm going up and done. And I'm going to get rid of this. You see, a perfect, this is the back, this is the front with no holes in it. Now, the customer wanted to make sure uh, if he does more heavy stuff, uh, he wanted to have a hole cutter too. So we have a hole cutter for her too, but I'm gonna show you uh, also how to put that on. So one more time, uh, this is four layers, grommet on top, washer on the bottom, and uh, put the fabric down, or your vinyl, or your uh, leather, I'm going to do it slowly so you see how the swing works. See, if your hand, you could do it fast, but if your hand is on the way, this will just take your hand out of the way and press. And this is your result. This is the back, this is the front. I would, I also did, this is a belt, heavy belt, and I did one layer, and you'll see without any cut, and we did two layers without any cut. Now, I'm gonna show you, this is a very thick uh, leather belt and grommet on top, wash on the bottom and I'm gonna do this one fast so you'll see. A very, very powerful machine. Grommet on top again, washer on the bottom. The grommet will hold them, the, the die will hold the uh, grommet again. Done. So for people that wanted to do two step, this is perfect. Now, uh, there is a code here that could you could scan. They call QR code that you could see all the information, the A, B, C, D. I'm not gonna go over all of that stuff. There is also a dial here that you could use uh, if you wanna, if the machine gets stuck, let's say, you could bring it back up, down. Uh, it's four pages. You could scan that, go online, see the instruction, uh, all the information, and um, inside which you don't need to. This machine had warranty. Uh, also, the finger guard that you see right here has a adjustable uh, screw that you could adjust if you have thick material. Uh, we want you always to shut the machine down. Shut down the machine before you touch any part here. Make sure it's off and even I would unplug it just to adjust any of this. Right now this machine is adjusted for what we need to do. But if you need to adjust the length of the plunger, there is a screw right here that you could adjust upper and lower. Uh, this could be adjusted. This is the uh, swing arm that our finger guard. And they're all on this piece of paper. Uh, now, you could download that. We're gonna try it, we're gonna send this to every customer that buys from us, but you could always scan this and um, uh, print it and have it handy. Now, the customer asked for a die cutter as well to make a hole. I will shut down the machine. There is a uh, tool that we're gonna use. This is for the top one or comes down and this is, comes down and we're gonna go ahead and put the other one in. You will not make a mistake. There are two different sizes. This one goes on the bottom, see? This one can't go in the bottom, it will move. Can't even go up here. This one could, cannot go up here. Down here, this up, okay? And uh, I'm gonna tie this one up. I'm gonna tie this one up, okay? 
Now, we're going to turn the machine on. And you got the light and everything. Now, we have to, before you go on, you'll see. Let's see. We need to adjust. We might need more room or less room or maybe we have to bring this down. So we'll see. This is part of the adjustment. Now you see the light better. You see, it will not do, did not cut. The reason is because we need to adjust this. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn this off. You don't wanna touch this. If you touch this, see, I'll do it, but you don't have to, if you do this bring back down, you have to shut this down, open and bring this down. We want this to reach the lower die and Turn it back on. I'm gonna go ahead and try again. See, it will not work. The reason is, this is hitting. I'm, all I'm doing right now, showing you guys the way this has to be set up. This one go, won't go down because this is too low. So, what? so again, I'm gonna emphasize on this. You gotta make sure the machine is off. We don't want it to be on. And then another adjustment that you could do is to open these two screws right, one screw right here, and bring it lower. So by bringing this L bracket down, it will, you see, it will work. So I'm gonna lock this again at this position. So I see it moves up. Now even I could bring this lower too. See, lower two, lower two. So now we're gonna turn on the machine and we're gonna give it a try. Now what we did, we adjusted the, the cutting die. And it's not, you see, it's not, we need to be lower. Turn it off again. And then we're gonna, this one goes back up. There is a wheel right here that could bring it back up. I'm gonna open this up again. Bring it even lower. But you gotta make sure you won't hit the bottom die. Tie it. And now you could even bring this lower. And try. Lower and try. Lower, try. Lower, try. See, I'm lowering this upper die. Now, turn on the machine again. Make sure we're back on. And we're gonna go ahead and cut. Bada wing. Now, I had how many layers? I had one, two, three, four. I'm gonna make that to eight. It did with a little bit of problem but I'm sure it's gonna do, let's say, six. Now, the reason it's not going here is because it's hitting this uh, bottom fabric. It's gotta be easily going. See? It's hitting the bottom one. So, if I, in that case, if you wanted to many layers, again, I'm doing this just to show you guys how this thing is gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up again and go one millimeter up, a little tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny up. Turn it on. And cut so that would be perfect here you go I'm gonna do the leather now see when you want to do the leather again this one has to go up turn it off I know you're not jumping between uh, material and fabric and leather. I'm just doing this video, so I'm covering all the questions that you guys might have. 
So we higher this by one millimeter, the swing, and I turned it on, and I'm gonna do the, it all has to do with the adjustment. Look at that. We, and security of your, everything cut, and if you see you have not cutting, you gotta make sure that you empty this one. Empty the, uh, there is a hole in the side that you gotta empty so it will, I did not empty. You see all of these things are coming out inside the, so that's why one of the reasons it didn't put cut out the whole thing because of that. See? It goes inside, you want those stuff to come out. So again, a great machine, a very good machine. I'm gonna do some denim right here. I know you guys make a lot of uh, 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 denim bags, cotton bags, any type of bag. Or this machine, again, is good for rivet, for grommet, for eyeless, any type of closure, and we have the dedicated dies for you guys. Uh, I hope it was a good video for you guys. Please like, uh, thumbs up, share the video, and uh, thank you for watching. our website goldstartool.com